The word pattern literally means, definite arrangement of designs, in a definite proportional relationship. In growth, pattern can be defined, as a proportional relationship over time. Patterns are the controlling, or restricting mechanisms, to preserve the integration of parts of the body under varying conditions, or through time. Cephalocaudal growth, and scamens growth, are predictability the contributors to pattern. There is an axis of increased growth gradient, extending from head, towards the feet. This is called cephalocaudal growth. In fetal life, head constitutes 50% of the total body length. The cranium is large, and limbs are primitive. At birth, head constitutes 25 to 30 percent, and there is increased and faster growth of the body, and limbs. In an adult, the head constitutes only 12 percent, while limbs take up 50 percent. These changes on pattern of growth, are because of cephalocaudal growth. At birth, jaws and face are less developed, when compared to skull. Maxilla being closer to head, grows faster, and growth is completed before mandibular growth. Mandible, being away from the brain grows, and growth completes later than maxilla. Human body comprises of four major tissues. Neural. Somatic or general, which includes muscles and bones. Lymphoid. And genital or sexual tissue. These different tissues grow at different time, and at different rates. The growth of neural tissue, completes by six to seven years of age. general body tissue, follow an S-shaped pattern. Slowing of growth during childhood, and acceleration at puberty is seen. Lymphoid tissue, attains peak growth, and grows beyond adult amount during late childhood. It undergoes regression at puberty, or when genital growth acceleration takes place. In genital period, Secondary sexual characteristics begin to appear during puberty. It reaches peak by 20 years of age. If we see the effect of scamens growth in facial region, in mandible, it follows somatic growth pattern. There is long time growth, until about 18 to 20 years in male. In maxilla, it follows neural growth pattern. Growth ceases earlier. So the skeletal problems of the maxilla, should be treated earlier to mandible. 